Hey, welcome back. Today we're going to be talk, discussing tolerances. Variation is unavoidable. Um, no two manufactured parts are identical. Some de degree of variation will exist, meaning they're going to be very, very, very similar. But because nothing, no two parts can be exactly the same because machines vibrate, pieces move, nothing's going to be exactly the same. <clears throat> Tolerances are used in production drawing to control the manufacturing process and control the variation between copies of the same part. In particular, tolerances are applied to mating parts in an assembly. One advantage is using tolerances is that interchangeable parts can be used. <coughs> Alright, ANSI ASME standard Y14.5. Now this top part's not the important part. Uh, remember ANSI was one that dictates um, dimensioning standards. Each dimension shall have a tolerance, except those dimensions specifically identified as reference, maximum, minimum, or stock. The tolerance will be, may be applied directly to the dimension or indicated by a general note located in the title block of the drawing. So, if you want to be following ANSI standards, you have to do this. <coughs> tolerance is an amount of acceptable amount of dimensional variation that will allow an object to function correctly. There are three basic types of tolerances. One is a limit dimension, one is bilateral, and one is unilateral. Okay, limit dimensions. All right, limit dimensions <coughs> are right here. Um, a bilateral, sorry, I did that wrong. Limit dimensions are here. This is basically telling you how big the part can be and how small it could be, and it still fit and work. Bilateral. Um, a bilateral is given to us up here. Bilateral tolerance means this one goes in both ways. Bi for both. It works in both ways. Unilateral is right here. Meaning it's got one dimension for how big, one tolerance for how big it could be, and one tolerance for how much smaller it could be. And this one here, these two are confusing for students because they see bi and they think, well, that means two, so they want to put it over here, but that's not where it goes. Bilateral, it does mean two, it means it goes both ways. So you're going to have one dimension that works both ways. So they're kind of the opposite of what you would first think. <clears throat> Limit dimensions provide an upper limit and a lower limit for the dimension. Any size between or equal to the upper limit and lower limit is allowed. The upper limit of this one is 0.126, meaning this part could be as big as 0.126, and the lower limit is 0.125. So talking about this little cotter pin or cotter key down here could be as small as 0.125. As long as whatever part they're making fits within those specifications, it's going to be acceptable and it will work. Now, right here what we have is a bilateral tolerance. Provides an equal allowable variation, larger and smaller. Uses a plus or minus symbol to specify the allowable variation. Um, what they're telling us here is on this counter bore, this counter bore um, has a depth of plus or minus 0 .003, which means that it can be smaller or larger by 0 .003. So this part could be 0.25 plus 0 0.003, so it could be as large as 0.253, or it could be smaller by 0 0.003, which means it could be as small as 0.247. So this gives us this range uh, that it can fit in between. The hole that the hole here, the center, could be 1.5 plus 0.05, or it could be 1.5 minus 0.05, and we have this range here again that it has to be between these two values. And as long as it's drilled there, it's going to work. Unilateral. All right, means that the limit they're giving us here, the tolerance they're giving us, it only goes one direction. 
All right, unilateral tolerance. It means the tolerance goes one direction. So up here, we have 0.5 plus 0 0.004. Well, that's easy. It could be as big then as 0 0.5004. Too oh, many zeros there. And then we could have 0 0.5 minus 0 0.004. The length of the zeros, and we get 0 0.496. All right. So it'd have to fit within those range, that range right there. Okay. On here, we'd want to, we want to be able to identify uh, what type of limit dimensions are being given. All right. Well, up here. All right. They're giving me two different ones. And the way I think of this is I'm thinking two. Well, it's the opposite of what I always think, so it has to be a unilateral. Two, what's the opposite of two? Well, it's bi or uni. All right. This gives me two, so I know it's not the bi. It gives me two, so it's unilateral, meaning each one of these goes one direction. All right. So this up here is my unilateral. Over here, all right, it's giving me one tolerance which means it's going to be, again, the opposite of what I'm thinking, so it should be the bilateral. And then the last thing we're going to go over here today is the specified dimension, all right? The specified dimension is the target dimension from which the limits are calculated. So what we're saying in this case is that 1.5 is our specified dimension. That's what we're trying to get it to be. All right. It can be off a little bit and still work, but idealistically, this is where we want it to be. It was 1.5. Well, hey, I know that was a lot for you guys today uh, with tolerances. Um, I'll catch you guys on the flip side.